Hey guys, welcome to KB Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can write the data to the CSV file. So as you can see here, this is my output CSV file where I have written this data using our open CSV write uh, library. So uh, how can we do that? We are going to see in this tutorial. Before that, let me clear everything so that we are going to write the data into the CSV file. So, uh, this is my output CSV file, right? So, for that, what I need to do is we are writing to a CSV file. That means file output stream we need to have. File output stream FOS is equal to new file output file output stream file output stream of the file path so this is my file get the path here I have this file now I need to use output stream writer because I am writing to a file right new output stream writer of FOS then here you can take your CS Now, using write, actually you have write nest and write all as well. So, in this demo, we are using write all method. Okay. So, here what data you need to write. This is my sample data. As you can see, it is having multiple rows and multiple columns. So, for rows, I can have a list because one row I'll add to other row, other other row. Okay, and at a column level. So this is my. Let me first take the this one list. Something like s is equal to new array list. Right. So that I can add each and every line. Now at each row, if you see, it's having multiple columns. So for this, I can take a string away so that I'll have multiple columns using the indexes. So simply use string away here. Now you can import those methods. And let me first figure out, out what columns I need to have. Simply use string array of uh, s is equal to. So this is my columns data. Let me take something like book name and author of the book. So this data but book header so here book name was one name something like two states author could be like Chetan Bhagat uh, open about the autobiography of Andrew Agassi so C 
key and uh, you can take something like power of atomic habits by james clear now i can have the rows one after another using s dot add method that means list add method first let me add book header first row. then second row would, would be book name This data I am going to add it here. That's it. So once you have written the data to the CSV file, you need to close your CSV file. Then you need to close your output stream writer as well. Then you need to close your file output stream as well. All these will go into return one exception called IO exception that I am handling here. Okay. Now, if I execute this, you could see here I am writing to the writer demo. So, if I execute this, uh, how will I know it's completed? It's completed here. So, if I use something called writer demo here. We got the data right fine now let me open this and again execute and see what is going to happen it is going to fail because file is already in use it's already in open state so it is not going to write so that's a small experiment i want to do so it's done so this is a small video guys i hope you understood this video uh, I have already developed a two methods for reading the CSV files like read all method and read line by line method. So this is a read all and this is a read line by line. Likewise, I have going so in this I have written write all. In the next video, I am going to see how we can read sorry how we can write line by line. Okay. So I hope it's informative for you guys and if you like this video, please like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.